Hello, Mr. Nigren here. So we're back playing the PlayStation 2 <coughs> or the PlayStation 2 game. Uh, so I am using the PCSX2 emulator on my Windows 7 computer. So I do own this game on the PlayStation 2. I have a modified PlayStation 2 that I bought in 29 or 2009, and it can uh, it can uh, play any DVD from any region. It can play any bought game from any region. It can play um, like uh, legal copies too, and it can play PlayStation 1 games, of course. Uh, and uh, I bought the game that we're going to play now back in 27 had an old let's play but I lost the episodes years ago back then episodes were limited to 10, 50, 10 49 uh, minutes it's almost 11 minutes long each episode you couldn't have longer videos than that I believe I had about 22 episodes uploaded on my old channel lost all the videos but anyway I never really got back into playing this game I had played until chapter 7 I believe and then I um, restarted it uh, and tried to get back to where I were, but I believe I only played one episode, and that episode is still on my YouTube channel, uploaded in 2010, I believe, or 2011. Uh, but I never played more than one episode, so it's about 10 minutes. And uh, back then the sound quality was just as good as now, but the video quality was limited to 420p which is very bad video quality also for those that do not know this let's play is a video where you play a game and speak and comment while playing like I do now and, and a walkthrough is a video where you play the game without speaking so you just play the game and there are no voice uh, during gameplay and back then I believe most people did all throughs but nowadays most people do let's plays we will do a let's play here my old episodes were of course walkthroughs where I didn't speak I started to speak in 2018 during the summer and I played some uh, Total War mods uh, I believe Last Kingdom and Warcraft Total War in particular and Diablo 2 the Andariel mod but uh, anyway we will play this game for the PlayStation 2 uh, select screen size. We can choose 16, 9 or 4, 3. So this game is for the PlayStation 2. It was released in 26. I bought it in 27 when I still lived at my parents' home. I like the game. It's very unique. And it's a game from Square Enix. Same company behind Final Fantasy 7 and other Final Fantasy games. And the Dragon Quest games. Okay, so press square to enable widescreen mode. Set your television to the appropriate display mode. Refer to your television's instruction manual for details. So we are using the computer, but I am using an actual widescreen television, a 42 thumb, thumbs uh, television. So I am using the television, but uh, as a computer screen. We are using the PCSX2 emulator because it allows me to play in HD, 1920, 1080 HD resolution. If I use the PlayStation 2, it would be limited to scart cables and 420p like back in 2010 and earlier okay let's continue I never finished this game uh, so that's something I want to do okay let's go we will pick the 69 resolution the 43 is for the old TVs okay let's uh, start If she says we're in danger, we are. He's right. Open your eyes. Alicia. Run! Escape from the castle! This way, quickly. Quick! 
Turn it once. You'll disobey Odin to your last breath. So be it. But be warned, Dapan will not be spared. There's no going back now. Let's go. I'll carry profile to Sumeria, and I'm Mr. Nygren. Let's go to settings. You can see that the game is made by Square Enix Company, LTD, all rights reserved, developed by Tri Triace, Inkle. And uh, the game is from 26, I believe Square Enix was the publisher probably, and it's developed by Triace. Okay, settings. <coughs> game. Targeting semi auto, yeah, we want that. Horizontal battle cam controls reversed, vertical battle cam controls reversed, reset battle cam after attack, yes, skip special attack sequences, no, uh, yes, and preserve battle groups, no, okay, I will keep it as it is, just for the environment. <coughs> we have event dialogue, audio, and text, we have battle voices, yes, vibration, yes. Screen size 69 and sound is stereo. Okay, let's jump straight to the single player new game.
Chapter 1 The Fires of the Gods only a short journey across the sea from where we are. That's why we're here. To go to Japan. What? You must return home. We have to tell the king to prepare for war immediately. War? The gods will launch an attack on Japan. Just to lure us out. War? Because of us? That's his way. Odin's way. But my father will never listen to anything that I have to say. Then I'll make him listen. I won't tolerate the arrogance of the gods, let alone some kings. I, I really don't want to go back to Japan. How could you say that now? What did we leave the castle for? I thought it was to run away. Where? Place far. Naive. Christ will follow us wherever we go. She'll kill you just to summon my spirit back to Valhalla. Just because you're also a Valkyrie? Yes. It is forbidden for two Valkyries to exist upon Midgard at the same time. And I have several Einherjar with me. Odin would like them transferred. Even though I exist only as thoughts in your soul, I am violating the laws of the gods. Remember, we are in danger. I know already! We need to prepare ourselves before heading to Japan. We might have fighting ahead of us. But I can't fight! I told you before, it's way beyond me! Then we'd better find companions who can. Who? Don't worry about it. Just do as I say for a while. Now hurry to the docks. Service canceled today. All departures suspended due to an accident. I've said it a thousand times. There are no plans to resume service. Give me a break. You mean there are no other ships? No means no. This is the work of Christ. So, what should we do? She may be lurking nearby. First things first, we have to get out of here. Should we wait somewhere until they start sailing again? We don't have time. We'll use the underground path. What underground path? Hold on. Talk to the man over there and ask him to come with us. Which man? Who else could I be talking about? That guy right there. Why him? Ask me later. Just go. I can't. Just go and ask him. Huh? Um. Can I help? 
help you? I, um, know a great way to reach Japan, and if you wouldn't mind coming with me. Why me? Forgive me. I did not introduce myself. I am Alicia, Princess of the Kingdom of Japan. I am concealing my identity for a reason. It is imperative I return to Japan immediately. I am in need of an escort. Seeing you unfazed by the commotion, I could tell you were a man of great caliber. Of course, you will be adequately compensated. Will you accompany me? Sounds fair. Then follow me. The rest should be easy. Don't tell him more than he needs to know. Yeah. Right, we're in the game. Music is a bit loud. Okay, but we can't lower it now. So I had a lot of problems getting this game to run, you know. Uh, it wasn't a problem to start the game, but the graphics were horrible. There were graphical issues in the game. There will still be one issue in the game in a certain area with the graphics, but uh, let's say um, in, in the original PlayStation 2 game the graphics would be <coughs> way worse in terms of resolution. I'm using the PCSX2 emulator to make it HD 1920 1080p HD but uh, with this game there were a bunch of problems uh, the, there were like shiny issues with the models hair would look very weird and such so I, I spent a lot of time uh, to fix the issues with the graphics and finally after like over a, uh, like a day of just uh, trying to find solutions and such and doing a lot of stuff in order to fix it I finally managed to fix it that was a uh, over a month ago I believe uh, so uh, the graphical errors are fixed Unfortunately, I have some lagging issues now, but I'm recording the game, that's why. Uh, another issue I had was in battle, where the rotational uh, button, the analog stick, the R analog stick, or right analog stick, it um, made the character move around in a circle all the time. And uh, that was also annoying to fix, but I've fixed all the issues now, except this lagging issue. That's probably caused by the recording tool, the Bandicam tool, which sucks. Can't really do anything about it right now. Maybe if I use a different recorder it would be solved. I know that I didn't have any issues with lagging when I didn't record. So I, I believe it's the Bandicam recording program. If I use the CD recorder it might work better, but I do not want to re replay all that stuff or rewatch the intro again. I might try it later, but <coughs> the problem is that if I restart with another recorder I would have to rewatch everything. So we can walk using the directional uh, left directional button. We can also run using it. And we can run with the directional buttons, but we can't walk with them. We can jump on circle. And when we are outside of the city, we can uh, slash with the sword on X. On start, we can bring up this menu. So X is talk and check. And uh, uh, circle is jump and select this camp menu. So camp menu 
can check our items. Warrior's Arcanum. Secret elixir that cures the wounds of warriors restores 300 health points. Dwarf Tincture. A magic tincture said to be brewed by dwarves restores 300 hit health points and to the entire party. By the way, we might be able to change the um, sound here. I will try to do that. No, we can't do that. We need to go out of the game to change the sound. Move it down a bit. But we can't do that without breaking the recording. Unless, of course, I'm uh, uh, passing it. I will try that. Alright, I'm back recording. Hopefully the video didn't get cut in two. That would be really bad. So we can run around and walk. Let's speak to some characters. Townsperson. Are you waiting for the boat boats to sail? Give up. Those ships aren't going anywhere. I hear the pirates are burning ships. If you really got to go, try making a raft. Talk with this girl. So the girl says, Hey, did you hear about the pirates? First time we've seen them in these waters. Part of me wants to go find out if they're super cute guys or wrinkle old leechers. Alright. Let's move to this area first. Speak to this lady. Dance person. They're really gone and done it this time. The only way to reach Taipan is by boat. My business is ruined. Good for nothing. Pirates. So yeah, I spent over a day fixing the graphics and, and the right uh, directional button in battle. So it was really annoying to get this mod to the game to work the HD graphics and, and no issues with the buttons. I had to download a certain tool. I am using the launch box to launch the game. It's a uh, program you can uh, download from Google and install. And then you can start up any PlayStation 2 game or game from any other emulator or console through the program. And it allows you to use configurations uh, that are preset download a certain folder from some place on the internet and um, that thing is placed in the lunchbox uh, directory and then you can download uh, pre-made uh, preset presets for uh, PlayStation 2 games that you play so you don't have to individually get the game to run in good graphics and such. I tried that and that took a lot of time and I didn't get anywhere. I spent uh, most of the day trying to fix it individually you know for this game until I found out about that tool, the launch box tool. Then I could f um, find a... I don't remember the name, but it was a certain folder with a certain uh, like uh, file that allowed me to... It was like a configuration file they added to the launch box program. So now I can, with every PlayStation 2 game, I can just... Um, uh, click on download configuration through the tool and uh, it will download a pre-made uh, configuration with everything already set so I do not have to worry about getting each individual game to run ag uh, anymore because the problem with the PS PSSX2 emulator is that certain PlayStation 2 games work well on certain settings and other PlayStation 2 games work well on other settings so uh, I had no choice but to to download the, or change the settings based on the game which was very annoying because when I fixed it for one game it stopped working for another and this game didn't work no matter how, I, how much I tried but uh, with the pre-made stuff it worked so let's speak this with this guy Sailor, no departures until it's absolutely safe wouldn't want to be sunk right off the port <coughs> It would be nice if King Barbaros of Taipan would do something about it too. By the way, I will pause the recording. We need to lower the sound a li little. Alright, hopefully this will do. We'll see. Let's go back to the town. <coughs> so we can enter into buildings. We'll enter here. If you click on the upper directional button can move into this building, this house. 
speak to this girl or talk to her. Lady, ships want to sail to Daipan for a while, but to be hard on people over there too. Knowing King Barbarossa, he'll do something about this. You can check this area. Acquired Burgundy Flask. Alright. If you click on select button, we already checked our items. We can equip items too. We have a long sword with Alicia. We have Alicia's robe. She's on level 1, have 100 health points. Attack uh, is 15. Magic is 4, etc. etc. Then we have Rufus, same name as President Rufus of the Shinra in Final Fantasy 7, by the way. Okay. And I uh, forgot to check his equipment. So Rufus has 100 health points, 13 attack, 4 magic points, same magic points. Weapon is a short bow, he has a leather mail armor for his body, and leather glove for his arms. Okay, skills for Rufus, none currently. For Alicia, none. Attacks, cutting edge, imperious act, and mirage pierce. For Alicia. For Rufus, we have 3 way attack, thunder arrow, and absolute wave. We can also change the party, so we have 4 slots in this game, like in Final Fantasy 9. But we can also have a bunch of characters on the side that we can add to the party when others are made unconscious. Status. Here we can see more details on the characters. We only have 2 characters at the start of the game. You get more team members to join through the story. This game also has a unique feature where uh, Alicia, who has the, um, the Valkyrie Silmeria inside of her, she can summon an, an Iron Harrier, Iron Harrier warriors uh, at various locations in the game. Let's move out. There's nothing to do here anymore. Okay, we will. On. Move into this house next. Nothing to do there. We have a chest over here that we'll take. We can open it. Quiet Warriors Arcanum. So we got more of those. That's good. Let's uh, go out of here. We can move into the armor. We'll do that. Speak to this girl, we'll do that or venture. I see, well well. How about that? Oh, would you like to have a look? I borrowed it from a shop from the shopkeeper. It's called how to make valued customer items. Okay, making valued customer items. What's a valued customer item? Um, as the name implies, valued customer items are items solely reserved for uh, for preferred patterns. Among these items, normally difficult to obtain, uh, and items not found elsewhere. Okay, how do I see the items for sale? Item names appearing as question marks will become visible when you become a valued customer. If you don't see the names, it's because the shopkeeper judges your level of patronage insuff insufficient. The more things you buy at, at the shop, the higher your customer value will rise, making more and more items visible. Okay, tell me what materials I need. Once you know the items, I, <coughs> excuse me. Once you know the item name, it's time to get the materials. Materials are listed for each item, so you just need to get them. Most materials can be obtained by defeating monsters, but you get varies according to which monster parts break off. Which part, uh, which part supply, which materials list is listed in the shopkeeper notes somewhere in the shop. Okay, make my item. When you possess the items needed to create a valid customer item, material items will appear yellow when you sell them. The name of the item you want made is visible and you sold the requ requisite materials to the shopkeeper, the item will be made. When valued customer items appear a darker shade of yellow, 
means the materials have not yet been sold to the shopkeeper. It also means that the customer has the necessary items. The number of items that can be made with the materials sold will shown in parent parentheses after the purchase quantity. Example elixir 1000 times 0 slash 99 equals 10. In this example 10 elixirs can be made with the materials sold. Okay, so if we have 1000 of the materials then we, then we can make uh, anything from 0 to 99. I believe, let's say, example, elixir 1000 times. Uh, okay, 0 slash 99 plus 10. So we, we get 10 um, elixirs for. Uh, 10 elixirs can be made with the. Uh, with 1000 of the materials, okay. Alright, we're done. Speak with the shopkeeper, the armor. Shopkeeper, step right up, only the finest merchandise. Okay, so we can sell stuff. We do not really want to sell anything here. We can buy stuff too. We do not have any money, I think. Or we do. I'm not sure. So we have Rufus here too. Okay. Uh, shopkeeper, this is your first time in the shop, eh? But you don't recognize some of my wares. These aren't normally sold in stores and they require certain materials to make. If you sell me the requisite materials, I can make lots of rare items. You'll just have to wait to try it and see. However, making it different from selling Making is different from selling, and I only do it for my best customers, so keep that in mind. Alright. <coughs> so... Uh, let's see here. Now we have 500 copper, I believe. We'll leave the armor for now. Could head inward. We'll do that. Here we have a cat, I think. Looks hungry. Feed it seafood. Sure, but I don't know if I have it. I'm sorry, I don't have any food for you. So we can feed it if we had it. Okay, if we had food. We can also move into this house, we'll do that. read some notes or books or whatever. Tactical guidebook. In battle the commander's hands hold both life and death. Ye who the command know ye by heart these secrets. Uh, so status ailments. Uh, anything can happen in battle including status ailments. Realize that, uh, realize that these can be deadly if left untreated. Status ailments below occur only in battle. Confusion. Confusion renders one unable to think properly and therefore unable to attack. Use normalize or an applicable item to cure this condition. If you don't have the means to cure it, you'll have to wait it out. Paralysis. Paralysis causes numbness throughout the body, making movement impossible. Use normalize or an applicable item to cure this condition. If you don't have the means to cure it, you'll have to wait it out. Stone. Victims of stone become like statues, utterly unable to act. Use normalize or an applicable item to cure this condition. If you don't have the means to cure it, you'll have to wait it out. Faint. Faint causes a loss of consciousness, leaving one unable to act. Use normalize or an applicable item to cure this condition. Being hit by an attack will also wake one up. Transfer. Transfer, forceful, transfer forcefully expels you from the battlefield, keeping you from joining your comrades for a certain amount of time. It cannot be cured by normalize. Use an applicable item to cure it. Status ailments below persist even after battle. Poison. Poison will de deplete one's health points at regular intervals. Use normalize or an applicable item to cure this condition. Silence. Silence forbids the use of magic and certain enemy attacks may also be neutralized. Use normalize or an applicable item to cure this condition. Curse. A curse prohibits changing equipment. Use normalize or an applicable item to cure this condition. 
frailty. Frailty inhibits the body's ability to convalesce, making healing impossible. It cannot be cured by normal eyes, use an applicable item to cure it. Unconscious. Unconscious characters lie on the brink of death. Use invoke feather or an applicable item to cure it. Certain accessories can prevent these status ailments if you can find them. Alright, casting spells. A true sorcerer <coughs> excuse me. A true sorcerer knows not only how to cast spells but also when and where. Usually a character will cast a, a preset spell to expedite attacks and integrate smoothly with allies. However, Lacking the time for proper spiritual concentration, the ranges and effects of these spells fail to meet their full potential. To increase the force of one's magic, one should remain still, open the spellbook with select and examine the incantation to perform. However, this pre precludes one from combining with allies, for which attack method to use, you'll need to apply your know-how to each situation. Let's uh, read that again. To increase the force of one's magic, one should remain still. Open the spellbook with select and examine the incantation to perform. Um, however, this precludes one from combining with allies. I need to be separate from the others. Okay. Uh, there is great magic in this world that surpasses ordinary spells. Great magic can annihilate multiple foes at once, but enemies may use it as well. When attacked with great magic, keep the status of those beside the targeted character in mind. Alright. Uh, tactile guidebook. Remember at all times, one's ability to command determines whether comrades live or die. Alright. Useful information in those books. Let's leave this place. Don't want to go back just yet. Check this house too. Let's read this too. Tam's goddess spins the thread round and round the spiral loom. Part of a poem, perhaps. Speak to this uh, girl, Tam's person. You can clearly see the statue atop the church from here. It's the battle maiden. If a knockout like her is my escort, you can sign me up for Valhalla. <coughs> no way I'm fighting as a warrior of the gods after I die to... Alright, let's move out. House. Let's move into this area. So it's like a church or something. Speak to this person. Adventurer. I thought I'd pray for safety here before starting out on my journey. It's strange to be praying for safety to a battle maiden who brings death. For warriors, being chosen is an honor, and someday I hope to meet her. But that means actually dying, right? I guess I'd rather not think about it. Right. Can't move further into the area. We can read this book too. We will read it. Theology on the Origin of Man. At the end of the long war, the one to seize the throne of the gods was the Aethir lord, Odin. But the war destroyed everything, leaving nothing to rule. Thus did Odin create a race of humans and you upon Midgard, thereby becoming the father of all existence. On Valkyries. Battle Maiden, Defender of the Fallen. The Valkyrie is known by many names. By order of Odin, King of the Aesir, Valkyrie chooses brave souls and leads them to Valhalla to prepare them for the coming war of the gods. She is said to appear as a vision of beauty to warriors who die hero heroically. Those chosen by her walk the heavens as Ein Herjar, soldiers of the gods. Alright. Thanks for the info. So this game is made by Square Enix in Japan, but it's based on Norse lore. I live in Sweden, so it's an interesting <coughs> lore for me. I was adopted to Sweden as a baby in 1990, so, so I... Uh, I am pretty much Swedish in everything but my looks. Okay. Let's move back to where we came from. Oh, we haven't been... Actually, we have been here before. Here's the armor again. 
Okay, we're done here. We can go to the inn, but we could speak to these guys first. Hansperson, all the cargo is sunk. I'm going to start to death. I wonder if another country is behind this, trying to ruin the, the pan's commer commerce. Okay, let's go into the inn. Speak to this guy. Adventurer, I need you to take something off my hands. I went to the forest, forest of spirits to get it. Owner, well, um, that's kind of a problem, you see. Adventurer, I brought this treasure I stole from one of those supposedly immortal elves. <coughs> Adventurer, but for some reason I feel really cold. It's not my body, it's my soul. Okay. Speak to the innkeeper. Owner, is this your first time staying with us? Welcome to the seaport of Solda. Owner, a quick rest at our inn will heal you, even the most worn down body. <coughs> a quick rest at our inn will heal even the most worn out, burned down body. Owner, even if you're on the brink of death, you'll wake up feeling good as new. Owner, will you be staying? We have a room with a view available, and it will cost me 150 OTH. No thanks, I don't want to. We haven't been in any battles, we are not hurt or anything. Owner, that's a shame. Come back if you change your mind. Here we have a save point. We'll save the game, we'll do that. We have memory card slot 1. Save the game. Chapter 1. We've played for 34 minutes 56 seconds. We are in the area of Solda, in the town of Solda. Let's move out of the inn. Let's speak to this boy. Boy, did you know the pan is lit by magic light, so it's bright even after sunset? If I were there, they probably used to make me study even later. Alright, let's move out and leave Solda. We'll have a cutscene now. I'll guide you to the Royal Underground Path. Royal? As in Japan Royal? Funny that I, an outsider, should be telling you about it, Princess. Head to the forest. An entrance to the Underground Path lies deep within. Hey, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. Just curious, but you said you're the princess of Japan, right? What brings Her Majesty out here all alone? And where have you been all this time? They say the only daughter of King Barbarossa died some years ago. What about you? Where have you been? What do you intend to do in Japan? Uh... Come to think of it, you haven't even told me your name. The name's Rufus. A pleasure to meet you, Sir Rufus. Lost Forest. So we have a map here. Campaign map. A world map, actually. It's an RPG role-playing game. I said campaign map because I, I'm used to the map in Total War games, but this is a world map. So we have Sol here, a port town offering linear service to Taipan. People and goods fill the bustling streets. That's where we are, and then we have the Lost Forest. So we can jump between areas on, by clicking on new areas on the map. We only have one area we can go to, the Lost Forest. Disturbing woodland haunted day and night. It's hidden underground. It's hidden underground path runs beneath the sea. Okay, and this area is bugged graphically. No matter what you do, on an emulator, so it's the only area I believe that is bugged. So we will have to deal with that. Let's go there now. See, the the graphics have this issue with uh, like. Uh, 
<coughs> the, um, see that there are some issues on the screen there. You can jump. There is also a bit of lag here. You can now use the sword. We can move down like that. Let's just move past this area. Unfortunately, this scene also has this issue. We got company. Don't panic. I can use my power here. Hey, what did you do? I hit the monster with sacred light. It's imprisoned in a crystal, temporarily. Sacred light, huh. Curious? Yeah. I absorb energy flowing from the roots of the world tree, Yggdrasil, and convert it to light. That's some power. I guess you're not exactly your average princess. What's wrong? Looks like we'll need to fight it to purify it. Oh yeah, that worked real well. Weren't you listening? I said temporarily. The frame it lagged. It's probably because of the area. It is very detailed for a PlayStation 2 emulator to handle. This game was one of the last games to be released on the PlayStation 2, or at least one of the more beautiful ones. Uh, so we will view the battle tutorial. I am no fighter, but I will do my best. Welcome to the battle tutorial. So we are facing a skeleton. You can see its health points at the upper left corner there, the target. We have the map in the upper right corner. And we can see at the bottom Elystra and Rufus. Our two playable characters. Then we have two empty slots. So moving the entire part can be moved by moving the left analog stick. Position the part by moving the left analog stick. So yeah, we can move around like that. Action points AP. Note the yellow gouge at the bottom of, of the screen. This indicates the number of action points uh, or AP possessed by the entire party. This AP gauge represents the number of actions the party can take, may take. The gauge decreases whenever a player character performs an action. Simply moving recovers lost AP over time. Or press L3 
It is, I believe, the left analog stick to recover action points or AP when you see fit. Now press and hold L3 to bring your AP to, to maximum. Per Done. Attack range. Look at the ground surrounding the party. The ring you see here is the party's attack range. If a, targeted e if a targeted enemy enters this range, target will be appear over its head. If a targeted enemy in range, press square, X, triangle or circle to have the character corresponding to that button attack. Alright, so each button uh, makes one of the characters attack and we have four buttons. Uh, now move close to the enemy using the left analog stick and attack with square and X. You can change the lead character with the directional buttons left or right. Alright, we can choose which one we will control. Now we are in, in the circle. We will use square and X to attack. Attack mode. When a character executes an attack, the screen shifts to a side view like this. Characters can only perform as many attacks as their equipped weapons permit. Parties currently equipped weapons permit two attacks. Now coordinate your timing and press square and X to attack. They attack at the same time at once. Break mode. When an enemy pot breaks off after an attack, the character will enter break mode. The character in break mode is free to attack repeatedly for a set time at no action point to cost. Now press square and X to strike at the enemy. Break mode. Receive some items too. Ah, so we could attack more than once, but I failed to do it enough there. <clears throat> enemy attacks. The red area on the ground by the enemy is its attack range. You may be attacked by the enemy if you step within this area. The range color will glow darker and eventually flash. The character who enters an enemy's attack range will be attacked, as we saw there. And the range is faded as seen here, the enemy won't attack. This is how the range appears when the enemy is ready to attack. Ok, it will blink. Occasionally, an enemy will fail to see a character in its attack range. In this situation, the enemy range does not flash as shown here. See. Dashing. <coughs> Dashing is a special technique for quickly closing in on a foes. The entire part will dash when you press R1. The length or R1. The length of time the button is held determines the dash's distance. Characters who dash across an enemy range cannot be attacked. Master dashing and you'll be invulnerable to attack. That's good to know. Now press R1 to try dashing. I see. So this is dashing. <coughs> Note that you will be attacked if you dash, but your dash ends within enemy attack range. Okay. Retreat. Look at the map in the upper right corner of the screen. The zones displayed in yellow mark escape points. You must reach these points in order to retreat from battle. Now use the left analog stick and move the party to an escape point. Okay. Retreat. Yes. Victory. Enemy group has a leader. The icon surrounded by yellow on the map designates the enemy leader. Victory is achieved when the leader is defeated. <coughs> At the time of victory, the remaining marks in the extension gouge determines how many magic crystals you receive. Mass magic crystals in battle for more experience points. The extension gouge decreases over time spent on actions. Um, a quick victory will bring you many magic crystals. Additionally, win with the entire extension gauge full, and you will receive an item from the enemy leader. Remember to aim directly for the leader to end the battle quickly. During movement, press uh, up in the directional buttons, or down to split into two groups, a red team and a blue team. Now, divide the party using up or down. Try moving each group with the left analog stick. Switch the current to control the group and change the characters with uh, left and right. Alright, so now we can run around freely with one of the characters. 
Alicia in this case, and then we can move to Rufus and control him. Advanced tactics. Divide the part in order to sneak behind enemies and defeat them quickly. Combine this with your standard moves for an ex extra strategic edge. Use magic and items by pressing select to call up the menu. Note that after an action is selected from the menu, the menu cannot be used for a set time. This concludes the tutorial. This battle is for real now. Defeat the enemy using your newly, newly learned skills. Good luck and Godspeed. Alright. And we can also zoom in in battle. And uh, if we click on L2, we zoom out like this and can see our uh, like target. We will automatically point at the target. And if I click on L1, we will zoom in on him. Or we will point wherever uh, our character is pointing. We'll make the camera move, uh, point forwards. And uh, L2 will move to the enemy. So if we stand here and click L2, I believe um, the camera won't move, but we will have the arrow on the enemy there. Okay, we can remove the map on R2 and bring it forward, uh, make it show up too. There are two versions of the map, an out zoomed version and a zoomed in version and we, we can play without it. If I click on the left directional button we will remove the menu, most of it. We can zoom uh, out and play like this. Because it's a tactical battle mode, people might prefer to play like this. And if I click on the right directional button, we zoom, we, we will get free camera mode. Not that I know exactly what it does, but. I prefer playing zoomed in. Alright, so we can dash. Let's just attack the skeleton. Now the enemy attacked. And we will immediately attack again. Either down. Alright. Experience 150 gained. We got some magic crystal. Total experience 169. Acquired 20 OTH, which is the currency. Purification complete. Let's click next. Looks like there's something left. The body that held the enemy's psychic energy. It usually vanishes after the psychic energy is purified. So, what exactly did we just fight? Something not native to that body. Fighting it was the only way to reveal its true form. The psychic energy possesses the body and uses it as a sort of vessel. We will be encountering more of them ahead. Watch yourself. Sure. A 
Alicia, you had better keep that in mind too. Right. Frame that this area has the graphical glitch and that it lags. We need to get out of it as soon as possible. And we can projecting photons. <coughs> Discharge photons with square. Striking an enemy with photons will seal it with a crystal. Okay. Press up and or down while pressing square, and you can fire di diagonally. Touching a crystallized enemy will not trigger battle. You can move enemies or use them as platforms until the seal breaks. Teleport. Fire photons at a crystal. By hitting a photon crystal with more photons, you will swap places with the crystal. Using this, you can reach far away or secluded areas. You can jump in mid-air after teleporting. Or press and hold a circle while teleporting. Defeated enemies leave remnants. Remnants do not move, but enemies can be restored by switching screens and coming back. Okay. Here we have an enemy, let's attack it by moving into it. We need experience. Stick to the battle plan. So we'll fight every enemy at least once. We fear fighting is zoomed in. We attack from behind, very good. Oh, we cut off its uh, upper body so we can. Uh, Dismember enemies in this game, which is pretty cool. Uh, by the way, this is the leader with the yellow mark in the upper corner, the skeleton. Then we have two other enemies. We can end the battle by destroying the leader, but we want to destroy all the enemies. I think we get bonuses if we do that. I believe only the forest is bugged using the emulator. There is no one that has managed to fix it. There are no one that has managed to fix it. So we have no choice but to deal with the bug in that area. Alright, we won the battle, but I forgot to take care of one of the enemies there. If I... We can shoot these beams. If I shoot on that, we will swap place with it. Like this. We can also move up on it. Jump up. Let's leave this area immediately. And this one too. We need to fight this battle too. <coughs> Enemy advantage. Okay, we could... Uh, <coughs> about grouping, press up or down while in movement mode to divide the party into two groups, a red team and a blue team. One team can divert a monster while the other attacks from behind. Mastering grouping will let you command battles more strategically. Even if the party is separated, they will combine immediately if you command them to regroup. However, if a member is too far away when regrouping, that member may be unable to join, so be careful. Okay, we attack with Alicia alone. Um, okay, that wasn't too good. I want to know which one is the leader. None of these, okay. Let's use uh, X and attack that one. Alright, we destroy that creature. I like that they uh, immediately move away from it when we attack. Destroy that one too. And now let's attack with uh, both of them against the leader. And uh, 
Ah, that's the leader. I see. We'll take it out as well. Leader down. Good. We also received an item there. I'm sorry. All right. Good. Continue. We need this thing to swap place with us. We can stand on it and then jump up here. I believe we could shoot at that thing. Swap place with it. We'll ignore that monster. We'll take this chest. We require the 400 o OTH, which is the gold currency. Bronze currency. Let's head inward. <coughs> Still bugged. Sucks. We're still in the forest, that's why. We'll soon leave it. It's over there. A hidden underground passage built by Depan's royal family long ago. At the cost of countless lives. So this will take us all the way to Dupont, huh? It seems that way. What do you mean, seems? Is there something you're not telling me? Don't, Don't tell him. him. Are you listening to me? My iron hair yard. Come now to fight alongside me for the sake of Midgard. You know of what I speak. Let me out too. I'll fight all you want. Same for me. There will come a time when each of your powers are needed. All 
I'll call for you. Until then, wait in here. I don't believe it. We should keep pushing on. <coughs> Mitra has joined the party. She got a mage. I'm here, yeah. Fuck this lag. Move to the save point. Save the game. Memory card one. Save here. <coughs> Data has been saved on memory card 8 megabit for PlayStation 2 in memory card slot 1. We played for 58 minutes, 38 seconds. So I wanted to play until the first boss and finish the boss. But that would mean a longer episode. 58 minutes is a pretty good time for an episode. So we could end here probably. So I guess this is a good first episode. Yeah. We play more in but I did play more in, in my old episode. I believe it was about uh, it was just ten minutes, I believe. Hmm, that's weird that I managed to do a lot in uh, I don't remember exactly, but I didn't speak and I didn't do all the dialogue and all the text and all the books and all that stuff. I just moved direct directly to the story bits. But anyway, we could probably end here. Hmm. Yeah, I think this could be the first episode. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. We are still in the Lost Forest. And as I said, it's a bugged area as you can see, both in the cinematics and in uh, outside of them. Uh, but I believe that uh, no one has managed to fix that bug using the PSCSX2 emulator. The only way to fix it, I believe, is when you play with the native resolution of the PlayStation 2. Uh, you can't use H HD with it. But any other area in the game should have a perfectly fine HD resolution. I prefer that. But it's a shame that it lags in the forest and that the cinematics also lag in the forest. That the, the scenes are slower than normal and that we get the issue with the graphics there. Um, so I, I, uh, I think we will end here. Uh, and continue another time and uh, yeah that was a good intro episode to Valkyrie Profile 2 Silmeria in the next episode we will leave the forest and do the, the catacombs under Daipan or the under which pa the underground passage to Daipan and we will fight the boss and all the creatures there and such I believe it's pretty difficult to defeat the boss I played until the boss previously without recording uh, like a few weeks back after I got the, the game to, to run and uh, the boss was actually hard so we need to kill all the, the 
attack uh, enemies on the way there to gain more experience. We also need to probably go back to the city and heal ourselves in the inn before attacking the boss because otherwise we might die against the boss. Okay, but thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.